Welcome to Prophecy Recap. Hey, before we get started today, I was wondering if you would join me in reaching more people for the Lord and warning more people about what's to come on the earth by inviting one or two of your friends to check out this channel. I would really appreciate it. Well, today's message is titled End Times, and it was given to Stanley Frodsham in 1965. So we're going to go back nearly 60 years today. Stanley Frodsham was a key figure in the Pentecostal revival, was close friends to prominent Pentecostal preachers like Smith Wigglesworth, the Jeffrey Brothers, and Howard Carter. He was known as God's prophet with a pen, and he prophesied about great judgments and a coming glory. About great judgments, the Lord says, severe judgments are coming upon countries that have heard the gospel but turned away from it. There would be darkness and anguish so intense that people will long for death but not find it. The Lord speaks of lingering death, famine, and catastrophes. God's wrath against ungodliness will manifest intensely. Judgments will begin in God's house before spreading to the nations. And God will preserve a people without spot or wrinkle during His wrath. The Lord speaks about a coming glory in deceiving spirits saying mighty revival power is coming and to prepare for the darkness ahead. Glory would be accompanied by great darkness. There's a warning against pride and complacency. And God says anointed individuals may fall by following, following deceiving spirits. There's a call to seek God diligently to avoid deception, saying many will fall prey to seducing spirits departing from righteousness. And these are the ways of the deceivers. The deceivers will gain favor by initially speaking truth. He cautions of, to beware of doctrinal deception and seducing spirits. There's encouragement to study scriptures diligently. And he warns against admiring personalities over truth. There's a way of triumph. There's an emphasis on triumph through the cross and resurrection power. There's instruction to appropriate Christ's life and sufferings. And there's a promise power over darkness through the crucifixion with Christ. He speaks of God's part and our part, saying temptations and persecutions will accompany the glory. Great grace is needed to endure to the end. And God will lead his people into paths of righteousness and holiness. There's encouragement to trust in God's protection and guidance. And the final exhortation is this, Fear not the future, but fear walking in a manner displeasing to the Lord. Salvation is found in God alone. And there's encouragement to seek the Lord diligently and make His truths a part of one's being. That ends the recap of this message. I encourage you to read or watch this prophetic word for yourself. There are two links, one for the written prophecy and one for a powerful video of this entire prophecy. You can find the links in the description box below. As always, take this word to the Lord in prayer. Please like and share and subscribe if you're led to do so. Time is short and we all need His power and His wisdom in the days ahead. If you haven't come to the Lord, please do so today in prayer and repentance. There's a link in the description box below with information about receiving God's salvation. Until the nets are full, God's blessings on you as you seek to know His heart, to hear His voice, and to follow in His ways. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you again.